Hey guys and welcome to this exclusive tutorial for Touch Plus where we'll go ahead and model this Corsair 600T computer case. My name is Laz and I'll be the one who will walk you through on how to create this case inside Maya. So as you can tell these are the renders um, that I've done for the preview image. Uh, so this is the front, there's the back so you can see some of the detail that we'll be adding in here. Um, this is another one with a HDR so you get a better idea with realistic lighting what it would look like um, and this is just for the mesh so probably the hardest bits in this case is this top panel where you can see these cutouts um, probably the mesh at first but then we, once uh, you get the idea of the technique we'll be using it should be pretty simple on this top panel maybe lining it up because it, this bit is actually curved and not straight um, and on the back area we've got a few more cuts here for the screws and rubber grommets and so on um, but they should be pretty easy to do as well this might look complicated this panel but it's actually pretty simple um, same with this little cut out here that we'll add in um, what else do I have here, here's another front render of just the mesh so we'll probably go ahead um, and add extra bits to it. This is just put on a carbon fiber shader on it. I rendered all these in Keyshot. Um, so I'll quickly show you the mesh, which is this. So I'll quickly walk you through it, uh, some of the bits, and then we'll go ahead and straight jump in. So this is that top panel that I was talking about. As you can see, we've got some a few complicated cuts in here to try to keep a clean edge flow going. Um, this is the mesh and as you can tell it's already subdivided uh, that's why it looks so crazy um, here is the back panel that I was going to show you as well um, another complicated part but it's not that bad really so these are the little screws that we'll add in rubber grommets and so on and those are the other bits and this is that panel that will cut as well so I'll just quickly hide this so you can see these holes that will cut in trying to keep a clean edge flow around here and basically that is it we'll probably go ahead later in the series once we got to this stage we might go ahead and add in a few extra bits and bobs here so we might add a front fan a top fan a fan back here and we might also go ahead and add in the um, inside compartments where your um, hardware would go so we might go ahead and add them in as well so I hope you guys will enjoy this series um, and I'll see you guys in part one